Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of Jurassic World Alive, Vulnerability Only. So, I haven't been really grinding on my alt account, to be completely honest with you. So, that's what we're gonna do. I've already darted some, I already darted something, so... I do plan to make a video on the Mega Longs raid tomorrow if I get it in my area. Or someone invites me, I, I do, I hope. I know it is possible, after watching Pro C's video, I, I do know it's possible to do it with a solo, with a level 1 Kovalia, so, yeah. But I plan to do it a bit, I, I kind of plan to do that raid a bit differently, I want to use Arc, Archaeopter Rex a as well. And so is Megalonyx, and then the last creature I want to use for the mega against the mega longs raid is this actually I don't know maybe a shielder hmm well I mean I, I don't know maybe I think I want to go with like something I probably probably just I think like the best option would have to be I don't know probably I think I'm I am so indecisive. I need I can't speak. I just say uh uh what is ah <sighs> for me. But yeah. Now I said I would make an alliance, but for some reason, anyone who gets I've tried making an alliance on this account, but for some reason, anyone who's accepted it. I don't know, gets like rejected or kind of blocked in some way. Well, not really blocked. It does that if I, if they join the alliance, it won't actually say they joined. And there's nothing I can really do about it. I'll try again once I have enough coins, but I don't really know. Oh yeah, sweet sweet one hundred dollars. So yeah, I have this incubator. Hmm. Nice coins. I'm not leveling up the loft. I don't need Charlie. No Baryonyx. So also, another thing about the new... Cr so basically, about the new creatures and the resilient change. I decided that I think it's a fine. Well, actually, I still haven't fully decided if I should use other resilience or I shouldn't use them. Now, most of the creatures, I think, if I think, like the main exception, I guess they they do have vulnerability. But this would make the challenge any unique. That basically means I have access to all uniques. Which kind of makes it boring. And we'll take I don't have access to all resilience. But still. I'm not 100% sure if I should try. Change it. I mean of the creatures that I'm using. I mean, there are a lot of good creatures that I can now have access to if I say, if I say I should have ac I should say have access to other creatures, be able to use the resilient creatures because of the but because of the change. But I'm not 100% sure on it because what made the series kind of special. The entire point of the series is to use vulnerable is because to use vulnerability creatures. But since the resilient change it kinda makes it not special anymore. I only really can't but I think I think I don't really know what to do, so I'll just let other people So I want what's tell me you guys' opinions if I should change 
I should be able to use other resilient, other resilient creatures with one ability, or I should stick to the main, or I should stick to the 2.8 creatures that I was able to use. Finally, we have the one and the one and only legend, Kaboto. I kind of, I, I, after reading the description, I kind of feel bad for Kaboto, considering it literally, it's, it has a nickname, the Unhuggable Turtle. And about this creature description, which is kind of sad. It also didn't get a buff while it's creature, while Testa did. But anyways. So yeah, we have, well, but for now, until... I make a decision. I for now I'm, I'm using the 2.8 creatures. I still I have I still have the list of all the 2.8 creatures that had vulnerability. So yeah. Hmm. Let's activate this, and let's start grinding. Hmm. Now I'm not gonna. I'm probably just gonna use like two five cents. And maybe a 20. And we can just chat. Well, I don't want to make this video too long. And I don't have a... Oh. Well, we can just... Let's just grind. Oh! First screen. As I said in my other video, in my other videos, I have like a... I live in a park spawn, so I have access to a lot of, I have access to a lot of good creatures. I don't know, eh, not real. I mean, yeah, I, I, a lot of these, most creatures from park spawns are pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm darting Clovis, so I'm not going to use it, of course, but I'm darting it because for experience. And because why can't I re and plus I can't resist these small little and plus who can resist these small little adorable huggable boys? Why why do they have to go extinct? I want I want to just be able to hug have one of these as a pet. Actually, the question of, yeah, what, what, if you had a dinosaur, where would you have a pet, a pet? I wouldn't actually, I'd rather have, I think, no, I wouldn't have clusters, coal, I think it's a, it's a good option, but I probably would have protoceratops, since, well, it, this is adorable, and plus it has, it, it, it can ram things, or I either have Lysh, Lyshrail, Lyshrosaurus. If I had had a third option, I say, hmm, definitely not Dodo. Dodos. If Dodos were still alive to this day, they'd probably just be another meat source, meat source like they were, well, before they were extinct. Jerris. Yeah, I think they. Yeah, if Dodo would probably just be another me. If Dodo didn't go extinct, and people and humans were able to breed, breed it like mayhem, like chickens, it'll probably just be another. It'll probably just be seen as an uh, another thing like turkey, just another poultry bird. Well, it was a per it was a poultry bird. Well, until it died, due to over, due to its population being eaten slowly away by people sailing from Europe, I think. I think that's how the dolls went extinct. They got eaten. They got eaten by sailors from Europe. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I don't know. But yeah, I think. But yeah, I wouldn't have Dota as a third pick. I think if I had to choose a, another small, I think it would have. Out of all the options, I think I know. I would probably have. Out of my third option, I think I'll have Pegomastex. They're small, 
if they if they act like if they act like they do an arc, they would steal things, making them perfect. From they would probably just basically be dogs. Well, not no, not be the be like dogs. I mean, dogs steal. I guess dogs steal things, but they wouldn't be like dogs. They would literally just be thieves. I'm kind of sad. I don't know the reason why Ludia got rid of the f- rid of common tournaments. I mean, I I, I like that. I kind of feel like common tournaments are kind of cool because you get to use all these trash. You get to use trash creatures, creatures that nobody will ever use once they get replaced. But yeah, I don't understand why they got rid- Was it because like Rap- Velociraptor and other things were just- Was it like- I don't really understand why they ever got rid of common tournaments. I thought they were pretty good. I thought they were fine. I mean, there's like several- There are several counters to Velociraptor. And with, with additions to new flock- Well, I mean, in the last two updates, we didn't get a single con- Common creature, and we only got one common creature in this update, which is a flock. At least it's a flock. But I still think we should maybe common tournaments can b- come back. I don't know why did they ever went away in the first place. Kind of sad. Maybe someone can tell me that. Because I think they were fine. I, I think they were fine. See. Oh, hang on. Sure. I'll use another five. Sp- I'll use another five spawn. Oh, come on. Another Dino Cheris. See. You know, I, I actually. I got a bit scared. I had a thought. What if dinosaurs were still alive? And then I. I kind of live right next to a forest. So I was kind of scared. I was a little bit scared. Because you know how like in Phenosaur, because in Phenosaur, Phenosaurus, an arc would just randomly attack people for no for no reason. So basically, I was kind of a, a bit scared, just w- people just walking through and then getting attacked by a, a freaking giant dinosaur. Another thing about Phenosaurus is that it's a bit weird. I mean, dinosaurs have big, but they look like bird. But with all the fe- even with all the feathers, they kind of look like birds. And the fact that they're pheropods. <sighs> it's kind of we- it is weird. And I think Oct- they said Octoroctorx was like the f- one of the first birds, true birds to exist. But I mean, what's the? I mean, if you think about it, how much does a di- if dinosaurs evolve from our birds? Then how do you tell the difference between a bird? Because if you look at birds from now, from dinosaurs, you could probably tell a difference. But now it's hard. It's much harder. And the reason why birds and other stuff don't, and I'm guessing the reason why birds and dino- birds and all that other stuff don't have like horns. Or spines is probably because all those creatures that had those genes got wiped out in the mid due to the meteor f- meteor's effects on the planet. I killed that. Is it? Did anyone else has a? Ki- did anyone else thought that the meteor it, the meteor itself killed every single dinosaur? Because that's what I fought for like a super long time. That the meteor was the thing that killed the dinosaurs, not the effects of the meteor. It was kind of, but now that I was looking, now that I look back on myself, I kind of feel a bit stupid. Hmm, that's just me. I also up to my game crash or something. Sorry, I had lag.
Oh, another one. I love these guys. They're just every time I see them, I, they're just so they're just so adorable. Why? I'm sure if most people wanted them as pets, they would probably choose them. I mean, who doesn't want a lizard? Who doesn't want a pet lizard that can literally glide? And isn't it a bit weird? But don't they actually look like they can fly? I know like, they say that they look like they glide, but they do all that all acrobatic stuff when they moves. It's just it's it's probably just me. I think I'm not one hundred percent sure. That's the moves that I guess it makes sense. They do look realistic because they're actually like, they're not actually like staying in midair. Eh, that's just me. Jesus, the sounds they're making sound. They look so adorable, but the sound, but the sounds they're making kind of sounds. How do I say it? Like a menacing tall, like a menacing tall pheropod or something. Like something menacing, not, not something, not some small lizard. I, that's weird. But yeah, I think, I think yeah. Let's put a fight as, of one hour incubator. Oh, not incubator scent. No. So I know a lot of people don't. I think we should get a boost reset. Oh wow! Holy cow! I didn't ask for a concave either, but sure, why not? It's just kind of. I don't really know what else to talk about. I don't really want to bore you guys. Hmm. I think... Oh, wait. I got something. What's the most scariest dinosaur to you? I person... I... I'm personally haunted. I think out of all the dinosaurs that scare me, I think I have to be scared of Venusaur... Venusaurs. I read... Just... Just... I'm just so scary when you're just... I think they, they probably scared, the reason why they probably scared is because I've watched ARK videos and saw how they're just chasing you and all that stuff, but still, would you? I mean, I, would anyone be scared if they got chased around by a giant feathery bird-like dinosaur that got like, that has like super long, I don't know, what's his name again? I forgot, like, the guy that had, like, super long fingernails, like, claw claws, and it looked scary. I don't know what his name was. I don't really care that much. But, bas but yeah, and then you're in a forest. It's, bas it's basically a horror movie. Holy mo- Holy moly guacamole. That is- that- that's literally just six of them. That's they're having a they're having a family reunion. I need, yeah, I just need I needed to take a screenshot of that. That was just that was just adorable. I don't really care about those two. No, let's do some battles. I think let's, let's, yeah, let's do, f I think I'm going to grind on this. Well, I preferably want to grind on my main account because I'm working, as I said before. Oh, well, anyways, let me just restart this. So, yeah, it might. So, yeah, I think I want to draw. I, I kind of want to, like, draw on my channel. I don't really have, like, anything to draw with. I don't have, like, one of those, like, stylish pens. A stylus or something? I think it's yeah, it's a stylus. I don't know, or like a drawing pen. I don't know what the specific name for for it is called. But yeah, I want one of those, and then I want to be able to 
have able to draw. I want to make like fun comics for dinosaurs. Yeah, I kind of want to do even with voice acting. Uh, let me get into a real battle. Oh, he actually accepted. Well, anyways, back to what I was saying. I kind of want to draw, like make fun comics. I'm not like I'm not the best drawer, but I probably. But I'll probably practice for a while, and once I find a, I I can I want like this cartoonish, sort of drawing style I guess. I want that's what I want. But I don't know. So what should I choose first? I think I'm just gonna go with Scolo. Wait, didn't Lofarex? Oh, I thought. Uh, I, I think that was like Majunga. I think it was Majunga who gave me this one. Jesus Christ, this is like... Well, this is so loud. There we go, the lo much better. The volume was way too... The volume was way too loud. Too bad I don't have any of my other... He probably thinks he's in a comfortable position. Hmm. Fifty percent shield means it's like fifty percent, but I think fifty percent. Like I'm going to, it's going to be 72. Is that enough? I think that should be enough. To the point where armor, where we can kill with arm, with counter. Because 30% kind of sounds more like, oh, why you had the crit? The, you had the audacity to just crit for no, yeah. You know what, that was actually pretty close. That could have actually ended up quite bad. Because we would have wasted a turn of our boost up power. But yeah, I think in the lower arenas. Yeah, certainly in the lower arenas. This thing is going to be pretty. Just downright buff. Yeah, you're going to do whatever you do. I'm just going to... Uh, are you... Oh. You're AFK. Well. But yeah, I think... Yeah, I kind of just want to draw com comics and, and, like a, and then just share them to you guys. I think it'll be pretty fun. But I don't, like, have anything to draw. If you have, like, any draw drawing apps on, like, your phone. I have a computer. I have, like, a, la I have a laptop, of course. But I can't really hear I can't really use it because oh wait I forgot this oh I didn't I forgot Psycho got vulnerability resist oh no normally I would normally I would be able to like two shot circles with my boost up power but I don't think I don't think I can do that anymore actually nah I'm 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 okay it's just gonna do uh, not as much damage oh wait I forgot about armor. He actually take that hit. Well, he lost anyway, so GG's. Eh, one blade, GG's. Why did he leave? I mean, people have their lives. I can't. I, I can't really say that, considering I'm considering how much I pause. With in my with possible in my videos, and you guys have to like, kind of put up with it. I don't know if you guys find, maybe probably some of you probably find it annoying. So yeah, sorry to kind of put up. I don't like. I kind of said this for like the millionth time now, but I don't have any quiet place in my house to like record. So. Let's about to do another battle. So yeah, if you have anything in mind, 
uh, I, uh, I, I need to turn off my notifications. Selected like creatures cannot do 100% damage. Thanks, Cap. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Not like, basically, not ev. Of course, not every player would be able to know that. Like literally, the tutorial has you distract creatures. Yeah, how would they not know? And you wouldn't even be able to see that tip before you know how distraction works. That's that's like the dumbest thing. Unless you have like the mem unless you have the memory of an app, unless you have the memory of a goldfish. Actually, goldfish have pretty good memory. Why? Oh God! What what is this, Carnotaurus? Yeah, I'm not scared of your level. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have no reason to be scared of you and your level six Carnotaur. Yeah, I see no reason to be scared of you and your level six Carnotaurus, bud. You won't- I have- I have dodos. And why do you keep making the Iggy? This guy. What the- What do you expect to come out of this? Yeah, I know he's gonna distract, but it's part of the plan. It's always been part of the plan. He should have caught you, <laughs> but it's all part of the plan. I will kill him. Because, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I have like two of the best creatures in in super low arenas, and you each. I. Oh yeah, this guy didn't get like any. Oh, mo. Oh. Yeah, he's a goner. I'm just gonna pull out my shields real quick. Oh, he has a Draco Rex. Didn't see that coming. I'm just gonna protect the alert here. Yeah, he gets one. Sh Sacrifice attack. Oh no, he he isn't dead. Oh, now he's dead. Now this is actually a pretty cool combo. Swapping, swapping into a creature of counter. <laughs> well, well played. Even though you were absolutely being 100% toxic, well played. That's why you don't be toxic, kids. Even though I'm a kid. Jesus Christ. No. I don't know why I'm overreacting like that. Anyways. I do want, I, I really want to start a drawing app to help. So I can make like comments or make bits. I just want to draw, okay? <laughs> How long is this video? Almost 30 minutes. I think this is a good ending point. Wait, let's just see what the last creature. Let's see what we'll see. On. Hmm. We have a pod. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I need to turn off my notifications. And.
nothing good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please click the link will be in the description. And I will see you later. Bye.